Imagine, you return home from work after a long day, and all you want to do is relax. So, you go inside, kick off your shoes, greet your amazing family, maybe you make a snack and you go to settle in for the evening when suddenly this man just walks right through the door. Do you A, invite him in to make himself at home, or do you B, call the police because he's an imposter? Well, if you chose the latter option, you must be a dirty, filthy racist. How dare you stop being so racist? Or at least that's what Mizzy would claim. That's right. Today we are going to talk about what happens when TikTok pranks go horribly wrong, break the law, and make you internet infamous instead of internet famous. Yeah, we're talking about Mizzy. Karma's a bitch. Bakari Bronze Constantino Garo was born on the 20th of October in 2004, and he is commonly known online as Mizzy. He is from Britain, and he had a YouTube and a TikTok that was dedicated to doing pranks. He did all kinds of pranks, from simple skits to full-on illegal activities, which is what brought us to where we are today. He grew up in the Stoke Newington area of London, and then he moved to Dartford, Kent, and then lived in Hackney, London. Not really sure why we all need to know where he lives, but there you go. He used social media to share videos of pranks, and he had a TikTok account, of course, under the moniker Mizzy. That is what he's known as. He was one of those guys that would go into to shops and disrupt them, you know, pouring stuff all over the floors and whatnot, entering vehicles and houses without permission, and harassing people. In May of 2022, he was given a community protection notice which prohibited him from trespassing on private property. On the 24th of May of this year, he was fined 200 pounds plus costs and surcharge, so 365 pounds in all, after he admitted to breaching his community protection order on the 15th of May and was issued a two-year criminal behavior order. The next day, Mizzy here pissed off Piers Morgan. Yes, even Piers Morgan did not want to deal with him and called him an idiot. Where you say, well, now they are. That you just pointed to me. Now no, they are. they'll just now think. They are, they'll just they look are. at the way you're behaving now, and they'll think, yeah, he's a complete moron. During the interview with Pierce Morgan, who I thought would never get triggered by someone for real, but then here he was. Tell me about your life. Because I'm getting, you're trying to get onto me because I'm black. Because I guarantee. If because you're black. Person, yeah, I guarantee. If I don't a give a person, damn about your skin oh, color. Really. No! Why would I care of what colour your skin is? Really? I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. I think you're an idiot too. That's fine. Yeah, he's a complete moron. Mizzy blamed negative media attention on racism. He stated, I'm a black man doing these things, and that is why there is such an uproar on the internet. Yeah, now it has nothing to do with the fact that you're breaking into people's houses, messing up stores, and breaking the law, and harassing people. No, no. Definitely racism. Yeah, he's a complete moron. As of right now, his TikTok and YouTube accounts are completely terminated. On the 26th of May, he was detained by police, and the next day, he appeared at Thames Magistrates Court. He pled not guilty to three counts of breaching the CBO and was remanded in custody. But on May 30th, he was granted bail on condition he live at home with his mother, who, by the way, where's she been while her son's been out here breaking into homes and messing up shops and harassing people? There was a trial date that was then set for the 19th of July of this year. The funny thing about this hearing on the 30th is that they actually held it several hours before the advertised time in order to avoid the press being there. I believe that was done on purpose. On June June 3rd, there was a talk TV episode in which Andre Walker shouted at Mizzy. And that's what kind of brought us to where we are right now. But you might also want to know that Mizzy was reported to have earlier vandalized a Primark shop on Oxford Street in London with a whole group of followers. So he doesn't just do this on his own, he also brings his followers at times. Isn't that lovely of him?
Talk TV is hosted by Andre Walker and Danielle Nichols. And there was a very angry, angry exchange on the show. It had to do with Mizzy glaring and staring at people. Even courage that kind of behavior. And he's not answering the question. And then Andre had told him that if he keeps doing this, he was going to drag him out of the studio himself. Luckily for us, this has all been on camera. What you need to know about this interview is that at the start of the interview, Mizzy read out a prepared statement that social media personalities should not be taken at face value. Why are you upset? Because <laughs> I have a message What's to the message? whole world. So you see you guys right now, you're using a script in it. You're basically working no. a job at the end of the day. No, no scripts. No, it's not a script. No, no. we don't use scripts. Look, I have a on. script here. Oh, yeah. He does have a script. My man with a script. I'm an actor at the end of the day. I have remorse, and I know when to take accountability for my actions in my personal life when I'm Bakari, not when I'm showing you Mizzy on the internet. So, this is the proof of him. And his followers <laughs> messing with the branch of Primer. <laughs> so again, it's not just him doing this by himself for his prank channel. He's brought a whole bunch of followers with him, which I can only assume would be horrifying for anyone that was at Primark watching this. Uh, what are mom going on, dude? Man. What's happening here? Go to to Imagine you're just hanging out here and then a bunch of teenagers and 20-somethings run in and then jump on counters to take pictures with their phone and you're like, what is going on? This is Come awful. On. Yeah. Honestly, all of you here on this camera should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. And your mama should all be ashamed of you. Why? Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, we did a prank. We came into the store and messed it up. And now people have to clean it and people are scared. Ha, <laughs> just a prank, bro. All right, that's about as much as I know there's only a couple seconds left, but I mean, I can only take so much stupidity right now. He goes on to say, I don't condone what I do, nor do I tell anyone to repeat any of my actions. Of course, after we just watched him bring a bunch of followers into Primark. People need to learn to detach social media from real life, as social media is just one big game. Well, the employees at Primark didn't find it to be a fun game. Mizzy, this online persona I curated, is social proof that society is weak and that the public is manipulated by the media and swayed away from the truth so easily. Most of us already knew that there, sir. We didn't need you to go and mess with a bunch of stores and break into people's houses in order to tell us. Again, he claimed that the media attention generated by his pranks is because he is a young black man doing something different. Because there aren't a whole bunch of other young black men out here doing prank channels on TikTok or anything. Yeah, he's a complete moron. And Andre responded with, When you walked into that very wealthy person's house, part of the shock of it was a young black man walking into a wealthy person's house. I thought that potentially you were attempting to highlight racism by that prank. And he responds with essentially, in a nutshell, that's what it is. If a white person had done that and called it a prank, it wouldn't have gone this far. I have to beg to differ. Yeah, he's a complete moron. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I don't care what color your skin is. If I'm hanging out with my family one evening and then you walk into my house and you're uninvited, you are now an intruder. <laughs> And don't call them the police. You getting arrested. You getting hauled out of here. I don't care what color you are, okay? That has nothing to do with it. It's called break and entering.
So I, of course, have the clip, and let's see what happened. What the story is here is the awful crime that Mizzy did was he walked into someone's house unannounced, just walked right in, didn't knock, didn't ring the doorbell, and then when they asked him to leave, he acted like it was racism instead of just people not wanting some random person in their house. It's very interesting that you say that, though, because I think if a young a young lad walked into my house as confidently and as brazenly as you did without like asking the lady in the front garden is this where the study group is or whatever um i would be nervous still because i would assume that someone coming into my house where my kids were i w my assumption would be that you wanted to take yeah, something from me like my car keys or anything like that. exactly or harm you or your spouse, or your children. People don't just go around walking into people's houses like this without it usually leading to something very bad, which as Missy found out, this this still did. Uh, that's what I would be nervous but it, but about. But isn't, but isn't that also a commentary on the fact that young people have a bad reputation? That's so it's not I'm... just... It's not just the That's what Mizzy is trying to represent. Like, all there's been many other Mizzy's before. Mizzy's an online social media persona like I'm trying to portray. Well, do you think it's okay to frighten people in the way that you frighten people? Because what I will say is this, you're not picking on, like when you nicked the dog, you didn't pick on a big strapping bloke, did you, Mizzy? You no, picked on a young, that, uh, an old lady. Even that situation got out of perspective. Um, in real life, I was going to take the dog anyway and give it back regardless because the dog took our chips. We're sitting in the middle of the park, me and my friends, and... That's interesting you say that, though, because I wanted to chat to you about that. Let's have a look at the dog clip. Uh, hello. Hi. You got a nice dog. Sorry? You got a nice dog. Uh -huh. She's lovely. She's, she's... Boom gang, whole lot of gang. Then he takes the dog and steals it. Of course, the old woman's gonna be like, what the hell, dude? Probably call the cops. It'd be like, someone just stole my dog. He came to my park bench and he stole my dog. I've done it, but... When you're with your friends and you're young and you're just hyped up and you're living in the moment, you get, like, sometimes you get a hold of yourself, innit? And you don't know what you're doing at the time. You, everyone makes mistakes, and when you're young, you make the most mistakes. And one, one of the things that you did say you made a mistake on was the walking into the house, which we alluded to before. Let's have a quick look at that. So here is the clip. This is what happened that blew this story up and had this young man named Mizzy in legal trouble. James? Yeah. Come to the front door right now, please. James? James? Oh, yeah. You man, come. Hello, James. We need to speak to James. James? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So they just walk into a house. They hear the wife say her, I'm assuming her husband's name. I hope it's not one of the kids. That would be worse. And they go and take a seat on the couch and make themselves at home. And here's the thing. It's not just Mizzy either. He has a buddy there with him that we see. It's not just one young man walking into your house to take over. It's more than one. And that can be scarier. It doesn't matter how you wrap that up. If someone just walked into my house like that, I would be scared. I'd be scared. And especially if my kids were in there. Like I said, social media is a, like a facade. Like it's literally a game. Yeah. Okay, social media is a facade, it's a game. That's what he says. He seems to think that he can do whatever he wants to anyone at any time as Mizzy and then Curry Bronze is not responsible. And that's not how that works, you see? Bakari, you are Mizzy. You don't get to have another persona out here that can go around breaking the law and then you can go, yo, it's just a prank, bruh, and get no consequences. But it appears that that's how he views this. On my own accord, I went to the house the next day and apologized and took accountability for my actions. I could have recorded the apology, could have posted it for clout, more clout, whatever, internet. It's not about the internet. It goes oh, wow, wow. What, what a humanitarian, guys. Look at that. 
He was so nice to go to the house afterwards the next day and apologize instead of posting an apology on social media for more clout. But again, you only went there and apologized to save face, so... Complete moron. What did she say when you apologized, Missy? What did she say? She was like, we had a conversation. She was telling me about her distress and how like she had kids in the house. At the time, when I was doing it, I didn't see that there was a kid there until James mentioned, oh, we got kids, and I left straight away because I have a child myself. Missy, yeah. Missy, Missy. This man is a father himself? Oh my god, Mizzy, you really do have to set a better example for your kid. Could you have pranked your mates and not been pranking the public? So that if you, you can do your pranks, you can have your ideas, but you do it with your mates. I mean, look, you're staring at me, but I think it's a legitimate question, isn't it? I've, I've... Th this is a... Th th that stare scares me, okay? for you Missy. now do you think that social media itself has pushed you to sort of make this point in itself i mean i know you're talking about anti-racism you're effectively what i would say you're attempting to be an anti-racism campaigner right you're essentially trying to tell people that racism has meant that you have experienced a particular kind of backlash that other people haven't would, would you say that's right essentially yes are you hang on a second are you somebody who will only answer questions if they go your way no Okay, so in that case, can you answer my question about whether you believe that you are part of a narcissistic society that is willing to take the benefit from notoriety but not willing to accept yeah, the answer. damage that's done in the creation of that notoriety? I've accepted the damage I've done. I went to prison for a couple of days and yeah. whatnot. I literally... I went to prison for a couple of days. We accept... Like, like I'm saying, Mizzy and Bakari are two different. Bakari's the mastermind behind Mizzy. In real life, I know what Mizzy's doing is going to cause real life consequences and actions. I've been on tag. I'm on tag for a year right now. I understand that it's going to cause real life problems. But do you though? Do you actually? I don't think you really do. But that's not the bigger. Uh, there's a bigger issue at hand here. Why am I? What is the bigger issue? I even here. Like actually, like we're actually talking for a while. Why am I here? You could be talking about anything else. Train strikes, um, world hunger. Because anything, you are, right? because you've caused a lot of people then? to be very upset. Yeah. That's why you're here. That's why that's you're really? so famous. And there is a, there is a real it's concern. because you've there caused a, a lot let, of people. Let's just be clear. I think it's really dangerous, and I think that whether you yourself are a good or bad person, what you represent is very, very bad. And that's the whole point of it. What right. music represents is very, very bad. It's a social media persona. I'm showing you yeah, guys. But remember that is you. You're talking about social media. Yes, of course. This, like, that message at the start was part of the plan. Like, I don't need to speak more further on what anything. So you know the slight problem is the slight problem is the slight problem, that you guys the have problem is when you talk about yourself in the third person. Remember, both of these people are you. So I know this at the end of the day. See, I feel like Andre's getting the same vibes I am. That he has separated Mizzy from himself. Mizzy has become. A different person, if you will. It's almost like he has disassociative identity disorder and he thinks that Mizzy is a completely different person that he is not responsible for, even though he's the mastermind, you know? In this, no, I'm saying that like, social media and real life are when different you turn things. Around, when you turn around and go, I accept that what Mizzy does is very bad. See, he keeps saying social media and real life are two different things. And he's correct, except... When you're on social media and you walk into somebody's house that's then living in real life, they're not watching you, they have no clue who you are or nothing, you've crossed a line. That's not okay. He doesn't seem to understand this. I accept that Mizzy has upset people. I accept that Mizzy's guilty of criminals. It's literally you. Right? It's literally uh, yeah. Therefore, therefore <laughs> what you are basically saying is you are doing something that I've seen so many times in our modern society. So, so many, many times. times. This is what I'm trying to show you guys. It's a cycle. Like, literally, it's a formula. Like, social media is a game in itself. That's right. You guys and are playing the game. It. And, and I'm proving it right now. I'm proving it. Well, I'm proving you it. it. And you were successful at it. I don't, don't have to prank ever again. I don't have to prank ever again. The media has called me a prankster. You've proved you've proved that by being narcissistic, by going on the attack, by pushing people into a road by invading somebody's house by uh, upsetting right? your mom, who apparently doesn't even speak to you by upsetting your sisters see who that's because speak me and my mom still apparently, speak now it's what the media portrays bro. You, said, you literally it's told me so once again the media is apparently portraying him in a way that he hasn't portrayed himself there's more than and obviously ever since then ever since then literally see, even that even that let's even talk about that yeah, and forget bro. everything yeah. else let's talk okay. about that yeah, my mom has never spoken to press so, so are you willing yes that's mid oh my days you can even oh that's no, mid no, i have to call my mom 
lost, right now. I lost, I lost, I lost. Is that made up? My mum doesn't, yes, that's made up. My mum don't speak so, to me. So, so, she literally stepped out of her house and a guy took a picture of her. And then I that, saw an interview else. where you that literally said... That is for racism I right there, though. Interview. What is that, bro? I saw an interview. You know, this is a thing where if you're going around committing crimes, again, it doesn't matter what color of skin you have or what gender you are or what your sexual orientation is. All that matters is that you commit crime. I saw an interview where you literally said that your mum's not speaking to you and your sisters don't like everything they do that you do, but they still are speaking to you. Were you lying? No, at the time, no. I, and it doesn't matter what so, I was not speaking so, so, to my so mum about. Just... See, and this is the thing, right? Don't ever give up your family for, like, social media or to be a prankster. If your mama has a problem with you along with your sisters, maybe you need to take a look at what you're doing. You know, take a look with it. Say, is this really the person that I want to be? And is this a person I want to be portrayed as? The answer is probably going to be no, Mizzy. You pulled well, me, me up. Hang on, you pulled me up on an important. Hang on, you pulled me up on an important question because the minor detail of your mum used to not speak to you, but now she does. Okay, so look. This is look, do, mail. do you mind if I finish this question? The point is this: that what you have proved successfully is that if you go out and you behave really badly, if you go out and you, you <laughs> waste the skills that you've got, uh, your yeah. intelligence, your ability to 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 dominate social media, if you use that by upsetting people, offending. Now imagine, sir, imagine if you were using all of this talent and all of this time and energy into ending world hunger. You got mad at these guys because they were talking to you instead of working towards that? Well, we're mad at you because you're making these stupid pranks and breaking the law instead of do doing something good with this people stealing throwing people into the road threatening people uh if you do all that you will Ugh. make it to the top you've proved that successfully but doesn't it also mean that you've done something really bad that's going to encourage other young people to follow your lead i just I tell you what annoys me about you you're clearly a nice bloke right but the reality is that what i don't know is he he's kind of sitting there giving a death stare and Eyes. I'm starting to think that maybe he's just not a good person. Yeah, he's a complete moron. What you are doing here, there's going to be a thousand young people who go out shoving people into the street, walking into people's houses, stealing people's dogs because they don't have the intelligence. Well, and they this don't has have been the done before. This yeah, has been done finish. before. I let am the first person that has finish. done this. It's just let a formula. Finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. This ain't the BBC, baby. So there's a formula out there that tells young people on TikTok that they should go and push people in front of cars and steal dogs and break into people's houses and fuck up stores? I need to know where this formula is at, please. Sounds like MLM math to me. Right, there's other people who are going to go out and follow your lead. And the reality is, I say to you, you seem like a nice bloke. I'll even buy you a pint after this. But shame on you for encouraging people of lower intelligence than you to behave in this fashion. It's not a movement. It's a grotesque lump of narcissism. Is it not? You've... The movement is real. What is the movement? What is the movement? What are, what are you trying to achieve? Yeah, so... Wait, can you please explain to us what the goal of this movement is? What's your moving? Besides moving yourself into a jail cell. In the districts every time. We outside means being outside with your inner self and not letting anyone tell you nothing because no one can tell you anything. You are your own person at the end of the day. So the movement is basically don't give a toss about criminality. Go out, do, what, do you what you want. want. Don't get a proper job. No. Don't get a proper education. What well, you can be, no. you can be like Mizzy. You can wander around, jumping in people's houses, stealing people's dogs. Yeah, it's just go be a bellin. Pushing Jewish people into the street, threatening to kill people. Who cares? What does it matter? You can go to prison for a couple of days, even though you... He, look, he's like rolling his eyes the whole time, which leads me to believe that he isn't sorry for his actions. There's no remorse over what he's done to other people here. Like I said, I don't think he's that nice of a dude. He's a complete moron. You have the intelligence to never need to go to prison. You can Maybe he does it. <laughs> Maybe that's what the problem is. Go to prison for a couple of days, pay the fine, offend your family. Who gives a toss? The UK because laws are weak. The UK laws are weak. The UK laws are weak. Simple as. Well, because well, so right. weak, okay. you're now being punished for what's happened. Do you know what? I saw a clip when you came out of the prison, and I think I saw a different guy because I think. I think you I do. think we have that. Clip, I think you do we? genuinely have okay, remorse. You, uh, you saw a different guy because I got cloned. No. What? What? Wait. What was that? Did he say he got cloned? You saw a different guy because I got cloned. Cloned. He got cloned. Cloned. The government wanted more Mizzies. 
go. I think we saw, we saw someone who did. Who was at least, at least now we know the prisons are. Well, oh, right. oh, gonna... the truth is, what the, the way I see about they're just done. They're like, okay, now he's saying he got close. Get this guy off my show. These guys of your age doing a hell of a lot worse, and it might not be on That's TikTok, true. and it might not be for for clicks and for likes, but there are. Th this is this is you being released now. He looks way too happy and not at all remorseful. How was, how was prison? How was prison? There's not nothing to glorify about, but obviously Laugh because it. of the position I'm in, a lot of people do know me anyway, so. Woo, look at him, so gangster, getting out of the prison, drinking a beer on the lawn. When, when I went there, people were coming up to me, just supporting me, saying, oh, this and the other, like, I'm a fan of you. Oh, so, 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 no, hang on a second, Reem. Reem, I'm not being funny, but for a guy of your intelligence, the accolade of being the most popular lag on d Wing is hardly, yeah. uh, it's and, hardly yeah, like... It's literally, oh, I'm not, I, like I said, I don't glorify it. It's Can not I ask you another question, Missy? I, Missy I don't know what else to call. I feel like... That video we just watched of him leaving prison was him glorifying prison, like... On a serious note, are you currently in receipt of benefits? Yes. Uh, so actually you're working and receiving benefits at the same time. Are you a benefits fraudster? No. So what, what is your justification for saying you're not a oh, benefits so you, fraudster? so you don't work no, hang on a second, work hang on a second. TikTok's a business. No, but I don't work. I okay, don't how much TikTok do you earn account. off TikTok? I don't have a TikTok account. I've been banned. I, I, no, okay. I don't earn money so, from so, social so, media. So where, so I don't where you? No money so whilst you're working, media, hang on. Whilst you're work. working, whilst you're working. I say I'm kind of glad that TikTok is no longer giving people like him money to get all of them banned off of there. For TikTok making money, were you claiming? These pranksters are a problem. Again, no matter what color they are, you'd be fucking rainbow colored with a candy coating. And if you walk into somebody's house unannounced when they got their kids there, you're breaking and entering and should get arrested. And if it's at that point? No, because I was under 18. Okay. Okay. Shut down, simple. <laughs> yeah, shut down, simple. It was a question. <laughs> Mizzy, I, I've got a question for you. So I know you said you spoke a lot about social media and how that's impacted you and that you want to sort of uh, get a lot of this attention on social media yourself. Do you think that you doing this on social media will encourage other people to commit crimes that potentially could cause a lot of damage? And I'm, well, by damage, I mean it could cause somebody to, you know, be incredibly injured or something like that. Do you think you've encouraged that kind of behavior? And he's not answering the question. Do you I think mean, I, don't, I don't understand this whole? Do you want to be like no, a good hey, 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 No, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You can do that to me. You're not doing it to a guest. You stirred another guest again, and I'm going to personally remove you. So this is where things go wrong. As you can see, the glare that he keeps giving is is pretty intimidating. Like he's death staring people. Roland is. I, I just. I feel like he's being hella disrespectful, not really showing any real remorse, seems to not be taking this seriously. And then this was just the last straw. Like Andre had enough. He was like, get that, get this person off my show, like right now. Cannot blame him. Would have been the exact same. I probably would have kicked him off sooner. The second he gave me the death stare and didn't answer my question. I, I'm not taking the mic. I'm not taking the mic. You glared at her in a threatening fashion. You do that, I'll drag you out by the hair, and you can be as hard as you pretend you are. You can be as hard <laughs> as you pretend you are. You apologize to her right now, or you're leaving. You know, the greatest is the look on this dude's face when he's saying he's just wide mouth watching. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I respect you, but I'm done here. Good, good riddance to bad rubbish. Threatening guest does not happen on my show under any circumstances. Woo! Reem, I'm very sorry, but the way he it's glared okay. at you Thank is not you, acceptable. We right. never should have had him on the show. I didn't good even want that. him here. I think the guy's a complete and total fool. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you, Andre. Good job kicking him off the show. I think everyone wanted to see it. I mean, we're, we're having fun. So what do we do about the prankster culture? What do we do in order to combat that and what do we do in order to make it so that denise welch is not mad anymore because she's pissed okay she has been slamming the bbc after the news corporation conducted a sit-down interview with tiktok prankster mizzy he went on bbc's newsnight show loose women star denise instantly saw red taking to twitter she dubbed a clip of the show which saw mizzy apologizing for his conduct before stealing host kirsty wark's water disgusting 
Samira reports that she fumed. Absolutely unbelievable that BBC Newsnight would promote this creature who openly terrorizes people in their own homes. I'm doing the same here, but to make a point. And her views were met with a mixed response with one fan penning. He says it himself, apparently everything I'm doing is bad, but you are giving me the platform. I'm on the BBC. So do we even bring him on to talk about this? Should we be having him on talk shows in the first place, giving him the right to apologize? I think some people are a, a little bit upset. He has been banned from all of the social medias, so that is the good news. And he does still have his court case in July. So how do we stop the young people from going down the same route as Mizzy? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Well, I leave that up to you. I want to hear all of your ideas down below. What should we be doing to combat this type of hustle culture? where people are actually breaking the law. We've been talking about this for a long time. It's just Mizzy's a great example of what can happen when you are in this type of hustle culture, don't seem to have any remorse or care for anybody else, and you're kind of a narc. Yeah, he's a complete moron. So I want to hear your thoughts on this. I want to hear if you thought that he was sincere in his apology and what we should be doing to combat more Mizzy's. Cloned. Because I don't think he's cloned. Not yet, anyway. And quite frankly, we should stop the man from getting cloned at all. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, amazing rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon with another one. Mwah! Bye! And remember, it's just a prank, Busy. Yeah, he's a complete moron. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit!